Here with Hinch, uh, Tuesday night training ahead of an away game against Merston tomorrow. A few days since uh, Saturday's fixture, uh, you've had a bit of time to think about it. Any other thoughts? Um, yeah, we just look back on the game. Be a bit longer on the analysis tonight. Um, went for it. Um, just we didn't compete all over the pitch. First balls, second balls. Um, we got to be better. We got to be competing better. We didn't stick to our game plan. Um, we didn't move the ball well enough. Um, so it was a bit of a, you know, a nothing from our sort of point of view. We didn't see anything that we done well. Um, when we went long, we didn't win the first one, and I just fought for their goals. You know, a, a ten minute of madness, but you know the second one he struck really well, but they haven't had to work hard enough to score goals, and you know we've got to be better to compete all over the pitch. Is a reaction what you want to see tomorrow night up at Merston? Yeah, we need to, we need to um, we need to we need to learn from from that game, and hopefully them watching it back and and seeing with their own eyes that. You know, maybe they do have a bit longer on the ball and um, you know, don't have to be so rushed. You know, we're unopposed and we're giving the ball away too much. And you know, there's little details that we need to add, whether it be midfield players dropping in to create some space. Um, yeah, they come and absolutely bust it at our place second half last time I was here. So we need to do the same up at their place. Alex Parsons was very good up at Brighton and C and then was suspended at the weekend. He's available again. Can we expect to see him feature tomorrow? Um, yeah, he's obviously available for selection. Um, I think what he gives us in terms of his energy and his pressing, um, I think it rubs off on the whole team, to be honest. Um, you know, he, his, his work rate and his energy when the op uh, opponents have got the ball um, is phenomenal and it, it does have a, an effect on the rest of the group and uh, they can sense it and, and feed off it a little bit. So. Yeah, he's a massive sort of player for us. He's he's great in the dressing room as well with the with the young players. Um, a good role model for them to look up to. So, yeah, to have him available for selection is is a big boost. And just is there anyone else that wasn't available at the weekend that it could be? I think that's the only one for the time being. But we're hopeful of Jesse and Danny Barker for Saturday, um, which again will give us another good boost. Um, that's the thing. If we can stay in there, and you know we've got Alfie Lucas. Um, Jesse and Danny all to come back. Um, you know they like new signings, and you know that's not too far away. If we can stay in there by the time we get everyone back available to us, um, and and um, you know pick up our form and our performances, then you know it, it could be realistic still. But you know we know we've got to be better. We're on a bad run um, of results. Um, I think performances set those are worse in a while, but performances have been quite good. But it's just those fine lines and those fine margins in this division. Um, you look at the lead table and anyone on their day get a little bit of luck and maybe ascending off and a, a, a dubious decision going their way can beat anyone. Um, you know, so yeah, we still uh, fully believe that we can still do something competitive this year.